Hey guys, I'm back working with Henry again, and he's been doing amazing work understanding leash pressure and communication. You saw his uh, stories on Instagram yesterday. His walk is beautiful. And so he's ready for being conditioned to the e collar, and that's what we're going to do right now. So I got Kay over there uh, making a little distraction, which is great. He's not paying attention to me. This is the first time he's ever felt this, so I'm going to start it at the lowest level. I'm going to start at a level two. Okay, he doesn't feel that, so going up. Level five. Yes! Yes, buddy! Good boy! You can see him turn his head. Right when he turned his head was when he could feel it. So his working level is about a level five, under light distraction. So it may come down after uh, a little. So I'm going to go again. Watch him closely. Yes, good boy, good boy. So he feels the sensation. He's kind of trying to make sense of it. He turns around. I immediately release the button and reward. Here we go again. Yes, good boy. All right, perfect. Okay, he's working at a level five. The reason why I had to look is because I've, I've been starting at a level three. I just start at a level three. I don't watch my number. I watch my dog. Yes, good boy. And I slowly ramp up. I immediately let go when he starts to move towards me. He's distracted by Kay over there. So here we go, level four. Yes, good boy. Perfect. So it just goes that smoothly. Now, part of the reason why it goes so smooth for Henry is because we properly conditioned him to understand leash pressure. So he's just interpreting the new sensation in the same way as the leash pressure. He catches on right away because we've already set, set up the foundation for that. So now that he's understanding this, I can begin to use it to sculpt uh, behaviors and start to create communication from the e-collar stimulation. So right now we're just going to add it to the walk. My walk. Let's go. I tap and turn. So instead of leash pressure, you're getting ahead. That's perfect. It's a good training opportunity. Yes, good boy, buddy, good boy. I don't mind that he got distracted and he pulled ahead right there because right now I'm just conditioning him to the sensation of the collar. He got ahead. He's really wanting to get to K over there. So I went from a level four up to a level seven that time because the distraction level was a little higher for him. It was a little more of a challenge. So he's looking over there. I'm on a level three. Yes, good boy! That's amazing, awesome. And just if none of you have experience with the educator e-collars, they are TENS unit technology and it is localized stimulation. This is not a shock collar, it's uh, simulating touch. So it gives me the ability to reach out and touch my dog at the push of a button. And in the case of this uh, e-collar, up to half a mile away. So this is gonna become an amazing connectivity tool, an amazing way to communicate and give freedom to my dog, uh, give freedom to Henry so that he can become off leash and go places and experience more of the world. I'm going to try it again. Yes, good boy. Amazing job, buddy. Good boy. As we layer this in more and more, because we're going to be layering this into all the obedience that he already knows, and he's going to understand that this is just a little prop. This is just me giving him a tap on the shoulder before I tell him, give him uh, something else to do, whether it's go to place, whether it's sit, or whether it's heal with me, or a recall. Um, we're gonna add it, uh, we're gonna layer it over everything so that he understands it as communication. So now, when we go into those situations that where he gets aggressive, where he gets uh, highly reactive because he feels unsure, we're gonna be able to give him a little tap on the neck, by, by touching the button of the e-collar, and he's going to know immediately, hey, I'm just going to go to mom, I'm going to go to dad, I'm going to be able to get the space I want from that thing, from that other dog, or from that person. And as we repeat this over and over, he's going to get more and more comfortable in those situations, and we're going to be able to get closer and closer to new people and dogs. So stay tuned for his progress, because I'm expecting great things from Henry here. Good boy.